Let's tackle the next row. <clears throat> the one. Thinking mathematically is a habit. Look at the row of the ones times tables. Do you know anything? Hit pause and write it down. First from the last lesson, Mizea doesn't have to ride any miles each day because she lives upstairs. Zero times five is zero. Zero times anything is zero. However, there's a really nice park about half a mile from the school. Mizea likes to get up early and ride there, which means one mile of riding each morning. Going through the week, one plus one plus one plus one plus one equals five. That's multiplication as repeated addition. On the number line, we'll hop forward. One, two, three, four, five. Five times one is five. What did you notice on the times table? Could you use what you noticed to answer what is one times 37? The answer would be 37. 1 is called the identity number for multiplication because your answer will be identical to what you multiply by. Another example. There are eight students in the keyboarding class. They need supplies. How many keyboarding books will they need? One for each student. They've even got their names on them. Eight people times one book each eight books. If 37 times 1 is 37 and 93 times 1 is 93, what's 1 times n? No matter what number n stands for, 1 times n equals n, the same identical number. Any number in the universe. Quiz time. 1 times 8. 8. 1 times 0. Notice both rules work. Anything times zero is zero. One times anything is that anything, that same number. One times 25, 25, same as five times five. One times R is R. 40 facts down, 81 to go, 80 if you remember five times five is 25. The legal stuff.